everyone. Today we will sketch the parent graph of y equals sine x. We already completed the table here. Um, if you want to know how we got these values on this table, there's a different video for this, uh, which I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So let's get started. Let's see how what is the shape of the parent graph of y equals sine x. So we start with 0 is 0. And then 30 is 0 0.5. So it's going to be halfway. And then 45 is um, 0 0.707. So somewhere around here. And then 60 is 0 0.866. It's around here. And then um, 90 is 1. And then 120 is 866, it's going to be here. And then 135 is 0 0.707, so, so 707, so somewhere around here. And then 150 is 0 0.5, so it's going to be here. And then 180 is 0, and then 210 is... 0 0.5, so which, is, which is negative. It's going to be down below for 210. And then 225 is negative 7.07, so it's halfway. So it's going to be somewhere around here. And then 240 is negative 0 0.866. It's going to be around here. And then 270 is negative 1, so it's going to go down here. And then, oops, I think I went off a little bit, so that's uh, negative 1. And then 300 is, so we move on to 300 is z negative 0 0.866, so we go back here. And then 315 is... Um, 315, somewhere around here, is 0 0.707, so it's right there, so there should be 315 over here, and then um, 330 is 0 0.5, and 360 is 0. So this is the shape of the parent graph of y equals sine x. So it goes there, and then it goes here. Okay, so there you go. And this is the shape of the parent graph of y equals sine x. Now what's going to happen if the equation is y equals negative sine x? So it's going to go the other way around. It's going to go this way. This is the negative sine x. Again, it's going to go the other way. Negative sine of x. If you think this video is helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!